Hi there. This is Ross Blackstar of Blackstar Fitness. Diets and the concept of dieting are, is, is destined to fail, which is why, though I do write diet programs and training plans for people, that they're not actually diets per se, as my goal for everybody I work with is to create a new normal, which means eating you know, now as you would do for the rest of your life. The problem with dieting is you will always, always revert back to how you started, if not even worse. Because the problem is you put so many different measures into play to try and obviously lose this weight or, or, or and have this drastic drop that things like doing ridiculous amounts of cardio and, and um, restricting your calorie intake significantly retard your metabolism, which basically means that your body gets used to living on, on less. So typically efficiency would be something that most people see as a good thing. But in terms of our body... And our metabolism is the worst possible thing that could happen. Because you don't want your body to do more with less. You want your body to do more with more. So the problem happens whenever you reach that goal of yours, which is obviously, you know, your wedding, your party, your your going out, your your lad's holiday or so whatever. After you finish doing all those things you put into play to reach that point and go back to eating normal, there is a massive disconnect to your energy expenditure, and what's normal for you. Make no mistake, it is not possible to out-train a bad diet. So my favorite approach is eating at maintenance. Um, the amount of food that you would usually use to maintain your weight, and then creating a deficit through activity. This means that should you ever stop training for whatever reason, um, you know, whether you reach your goal, you reach injury, or you know, your motivation just leaves you, then um, your body will stabilise at, at um, you know, rather than, let's say, the alternative, which would typically be a restrictive diet with extra cardio on top, something that you know isn't really maintainable. You know, you you lose a lot of weight really quickly, which is great. Um, you'll be fine for your holiday, your wedding dress, your whatever your motivation is to diet in the first place. But um, when when you go back to normal, there's a massive disconnect. There's to get down there, you've retarded your metabolism, you know, you've been starving yourself, and your body has got very used to doing a lot with very little energy. Um, so when you go back to eating normal, even though, you know, normal would, let's say, be 2,500 calories for the average person, your metabolism is running at 1,5, you know, because of how you've been doing it. There's a big disconnect, you know, between the amount of calories that you'll be consuming and the amount of calories your body's used to burning. And so that's typically the main reason why most diets kind of set up to fail. Alright, about to finish my cardio. About 20k, just under 40 minutes. I am the gorilla of the village. And that is game. About 450 calories done for the day. Um, Smash that after a weight session. Um, tomorrow I'll try and do like a full day eating for you guys. Just so you can get an idea of how I keep myself fit. Shreds for Febs, we make ish t shirt. Let's get going.